If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots. Hi guys, and welcome back to Take and Jeff's channel. Guess what we are going to discuss on this channel today? My goals in cybersecurity this 2024. So the number one on this list is commitments. Because it's very, very important. If we are not committed to just goals that we set for ourselves, then there is no way we are going to achieve them. I know that sometimes we set goals for ourselves. I do set goals for myself, but at the end of the day, I will find out that I'm not going in line with what I want to do. So anyways, if you fall down, make sure you rise up. You fall, you get up and continue the journey. Be committed to those goals that you set for yourself and tell yourself that you are going to achieve them. Yes. And the second one is what? Hands-on skills. I want to learn a lot of skills. I want to learn different skills. I want to learn how to run Python, JavaScript, how to use Linux, how to do like lots of attacks. Yeah. You know, I want to learn skills. Crazy. Yeah, why not? Because we are in 2024. We have all the resources to learn these skills. It's just to tell ourselves that, yes, I'm going to do this and I will do it. <laughs> Don't mind me, I think I'm hyper today. Yes, but I want to learn a lot of skills. And I think as far as you are, you want to be successful in cybersecurity, you want to be in that field of cybersecurity, then hands-on skill is very, very important. Not you just going to YouTube or um, paying for a course to learn them. Be, do it practically. Learn them, have the skills and be sure that you can do whatever you want to do. And yes, of course, I want to build a lot of projects because I think when you are doing a lot of projects, then with that, you will be able to know how it is in real life with cybersecurity. How did the people work? Uh, work with some experienced people like freelancing, internship. With that, I'll be able to know how cybersecurity is in real life. You know, you get to know the types of attack, how you are to respond to some of the attacks, the security aspects. Working on those projects will be able to make you be confident that you know how to do this. And then you will be able to put it on your resume or on your portfolio that you do this project, you do that project, and just make people know that you know what you are doing and you are good in the field. So hands-on project is very, very important. In this year still, I want to have certifications like the um, Google Cybersecurity Certificate, the Certified Ethical Hacking. Yeah, those kind of recognized certificates based on the field I want to be. I want to have them I, because I know it will help me very well in my field of study, which is cybersecurity. So, Certification must be there. Not just your degree will be okay, but your degree or your master's together with your certification, with a certificate you get from recognized industries. And then, yes, the next one is networking. I want to build my community. I want to attend meetups, workshops. With that, I think I will be able to know a lot of things that are happening in cybersecurity, communicate with this, have experience of this, know about the experience of this person. With that cycle that you are making for yourself, you will go higher. And then even if it is on online, uh, you can have uh, cybersecurity communities on every platform, social media platforms, online platforms. And yeah, it's just available for us. It's internet world. 21st century. So I think a lot of things are much more easier for us. The next one will be, uh, will be soft skills and communication. I want to enhance my communication to, uh, convey my message. You know, communication 
in cyber security and in every field actually is very very important because if we don't know how to communicate professionally and very well we can't convey what we want to people we are working with so we need to know how to communicate very well uh, how to communicate from uh, professionally how to be in an interview yeah yeah that's basically what it is continuous learning <laughs> it just has to be on the list constantly learning because cyber security is not a thing that will be on like stagnant in one place we have to continuously learn know the vulnerability know the threats know how to meet to get those rigs and vulnerabilities is very very important in our field of cyber security and yes we have to know um, the specialization we have to know where we want to be do we want to be in the security aspects do we want to be in the compliance aspects do we want to be in penetration testing we have to know where we want to be right because if we don't know that we keep going here banter banter or how is the english i don't know we keep beating around the bush and at the end of the day we will end up not being specialized on a single thing because we go there we go here we go everywhere we know it's important to be diverse and know a lot of stuff but still you need to be specialized on one thing so that at least you'll be very good in that aspect where you choose for yourself and the last but not the least is I want to create a lot of content that are very engaging, like content that will help people, that will reach out to people. You understand what I mean? Create an engaging content, not boring content like, you know, you know what I mean? I want to create content that will be so engaging. People will understand what I want to give to them and then what I want to share with them. I want to reach a lot of people with my content and then they will like it and they will love it. Yeah. That's the final one. Based on my career path which is cyber security for this year 2024. And I pray I will be able to achieve it and you also mm -hmm. will be able to achieve the goals that you set for yourself. If you are in the field of cyber security, think about what I just said and then put it down and then add yours if there is addition and then omit some if you think it's not relatable to you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yeah, take a little say in the boy, boy. Bye bye. Again. Hmm. Done.